Hey, yeah, what's going on? It's Lisa here with Mackenzie, my partner in crime. She's off for camp for the week, so I got all three girls and I uh, haven't made a video with Mackenzie in a while, so I thought uh, we'll, we'll put one together today for you. We were at the beach for, uh, for the weekend and came back. And we did a little shopping this morning, but not much, and it's lunchtime, so, right? So we're going to make some, uh, some lunch. We're going to do a cucumber carpaccio salad, all right? Um, most of you have heard the word carpaccio, and a lot of times it's done with raw beef or tuna. It generally is something that's sliced very, very thin. And in this case, we're going to do um, carpaccio of um, cucumber. I've done carpaccio of zucchini, and it's a delicious salad. Let me show you about how we arranged everything. See, we're going to arrange it real pretty. For this salad, you will need cucumber. And um, it helps if you have a mandolin, because when you do, all you have to do is go like this. It takes a matter of seconds, and it slices the cucumber paper thin. All right, that just makes for a nice presentation, makes it easy to eat. Mackenzie, do you want to finish arranging these? Arrange them on there. If you don't have a um, mandolin, just uh, just take a knife and just cut them as thin as you can. So you could totally do this with a knife if you don't have a mandolin. But it helps, uh, it goes really quick and gets everything nice and uniform if you do. So, Mackenzie, I'll finish this one and... You arrange those, honey, okay? The kids can have fun arranging it on the plate. Now, for the cucumber carpaccio, I thought it'd be nice. I'm just going to keep it real simple. I'm going to put on there um, some, uh, some tomato. I'm just going to do some wedges. I'll show you. This will be a pretty little presentation if you're entertaining. And what I used to do is I used to, for parties, do big platters of these carpaccios. And it's just, just, just really beautiful and easy to eat, like I said, because everything is... Uh, thinly sliced and um, of course these tomatoes I'm just doing like a salad for for Jen and I but I'm going to put some tomatoes I'm going to put some uh, thinly sliced um, red onion um, a little bit of uh, lemon zest and some uh, red uh, chilies for a little heat and then for the dressing I'm just going to keep things real simple I've got um, in the food processor I'm going to blend up I've got one ear of fresh corn and about one tablespoon of fresh dill. And I'm gonna pray that up so it's like a uh, uh, a creamy uh, corn dill dressing for the cucumber carpaccio salad. And then um, I'll probably spritz on just a little bit of fresh lemon juice too, just to kind of wake up all the flavors. All right, so I'll repeat everything. Well, Mackenzie's, are oh, you doing a great job, Mackenzie? Look at Mackenzie, she's doing a great job uh, arranging that. So let's make the dressing real quick. Just got the food processor. And just turn this on. This is a real thick kind of chunky dressing. You need more cucumber? All right, well, hold on one second, baby. Give me one second. Gonna scrape it down. This is going to be a, a corn filled dressing. And normally I do make this in the Vitamix and it comes out really creamy, uh, but since I only have one ear of corn in the house, um, you know, obviously, this will be enough. I'll spread it out for the two salads. It'll be kind of small salad. So just do as much as you need. But uh, I use the food processor just because it's not that much to put in the, the blender. So there's really no right or wrong. It just depends on how creamy you like it. Yeah, okay, we're making the corn dill dressing. All right, I think that's good. Yummy, you were eating corn uh, yesterday, huh? You like corn on the cob? All right, so here we go. And actually, what I used to do is zucchini capacho. I used to crumble on a little bit of a uh, feta Hi. cheese. So if you were to make a um, make the uh, cuke, or the, excuse me, the zucchini one, do zucchini instead. You can make that feta um, cheese that uh, I made for the pizza, and that would be awesome. Kind of crumble that on top. Anyways, I'll probably save that for a separate video. All right, Mackenzie, let's put it together. So we got the uh, the carpaccio of uh, thin sliced cucumber. So now I'm just going to... I'll put your bummer here. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's put some uh, red onion. You want to put some red onion on this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, spread it out. 
It's a real thin slice that's going to give a nice pretty color. Right, Mackenzie? A little purple and green. And a little bit over here. You just need a little bit. Run Indian is strong. Then we're going to put some uh, lemon zest and get some pretty bright yellow on here. Right, Mackenzie? You want to put this one on? Give me a hint. Okay, sprinkle that on there. Isn't that pretty? And I'll take a picture and post it on a Facebook. This is really beautiful when you're, especially like I said, when you're entertaining. I mean, just for yourself, it's just something fun and different. All right, the hot peppers. I'm gonna put these on, baby, okay? Cause they're spicy, and I don't want you to don't touch them, okay? All right, a little bit of pepper. And now I think we'll go in, Mackenzie. What do you think with the tomatoes? And then we'll do the dressing. Or, you know what? We'll do the dressing first. We'll put a little bit. All right, put a little bit of the corn dressing. Just yeah, that's it, baby. Just plop it right on. You're just having fun. Just got this is almost. This looks like crumbled cheese or something. Just gonna add a nice flavor. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna put a little drizzle of. Uh, lemon juice and this will come out real smooth and like a thick dressing if you were to put it in the uh, Vitamix but like I said since I'm doing such a small you're quantity a yeah you're doing great honey so Mackenzie will finish that up and then I think just the tomatoes I'm just gonna arrange these like this oh, Mackenzie oh, you wanna put some too? alright put the tomatoes on here baby Everybody gets five tomatoes. Alright. You get one more. You put it however you want, honey. See? Look at that. Isn't that like beautiful? It's like something I'd want to eat. That looks great, honey. Alright, oh, you want to put. Alright, squeeze a little lemon juice on there. Alright, just a little fresh lemon juice. It just brighten up everything. You can put a little fresh cracked black pepper if you want. Alright. That is it. How simple is that? Doesn't that look good, Mackenzie? You gonna have some? You can have some too. I'll make you a little mini one, okay, with the cucumbers and tomatoes. You want that on yours? Mm -hmm. So, um, anyways, there we go, guys. We got a thin sliced cucumbers. Got, um,. A little bit of shaved red onion, some lemon zest, a little bit of uh, chili peppers if you like that, and a little bit of uh, corn dill um, dressing, right? And some fresh tomatoes. What a beautiful tomatoes. summer salad, huh? Right. And pretty presentation. And it's going to taste delicious because everything is just fresh and cold and, and ready to eat, right? Ready to eat. And uh, for Mackenzie, we're going to make some, uh, I'm going to have her make one with just some cucumber and tomatoes. And she can pick that up and eat that. And maybe a little, uh, we got some corn dill dressing you could put on that too. You no, want to do that? Not no, not the dressing. Okay. Uh, what do you want to tell everybody, Mackenzie? Happy foods. Remember to always eat happy foods. Happy foods puts a smile, smile for everybody, Mackenzie. <laughs> Make you happy. All right. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up if you like any of the videos. That's for mommy. You want to tell everybody give a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like any of the videos. If they make you happy. Happy. And um, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And um, I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.